Today, we're gonna to test the Wybot C2 Vision. It's the brand new 2025 model that has been newly upgraded, app controlled, eight different modes, supposed to be super intuitive, even has a camera on the front of it and built-in AI and will seek out dirt. Actually looks for dirt in your pool. We're gonna find out how good it is. If you want one of these for yourself, I'll put a link in the description. If you use that link, I do earn a little something for the effort and I appreciate it if you do. Don't feel obligated. You're gonna pay the same thing whether you use the link or not. I just earn a little commission if you use the link. I was not sponsored to make this video though, and the thoughts are my own. This is what I actually think. And I have a lot of pool cleaner videos reviewing different pool cleaners. I just feel that this is the best value and best overall performance of any that I've tested so far. Now I'll get into the app and everything about the pool cleaner before the video's over. Let's just get it started and let it start cleaning. Give it a couple hours to run and see just where it goes and how good of a job it does. I'm excited to see it work because I've had this type of pool cleaner before, not this exact brand, and, and I've never had one with AI before, but I've had a couple of pool cleaners that clean walls, clean floors, clean stairs, clean water lines, to a varying degree of success, some of them. So I'm anxious to see how good of a job this one does. I have a very irregular shaped pool with a lot of funky corners and stairs and different shapes. You got a built-in love seat. There's a lot of places that a lot of them miss and I'm kind of anxious to see what this one will do. So let's get it started and submerge it in the pool. To start it, all we gotta do is press this button and put it in the water. Now, when you just turn it on and drop it in like this, by default, it's gonna clean the whole pool, the floor, the water line, and the walls. But there are eight modes to choose from and this is really just one of them. And the app's gonna allow you to get the most out of the cleaner. So you're gonna add your device on this screen right here. You'll just hit the little plus screen. You can see what I've done is I've added the Wybot C2 Vision, the one we're talking about. And you see, you can also add your pool. So you're gonna add your pool and you're gonna check what type of pool you have. I check free form because my pool is a very odd shape. And then you'll go on down and you'll check what kind of slope you have, whether you have a flat bottom pool or a slope pool. Just a really good starting point for the cleaner and it allows it to have something to start with so that when you put it in your pool for the first time, it kind of knows what it's dealing with. And as that pool cleaner cleans your pool over and over again for the first month, it's going to continue to learn every square inch of the pool. And you see in this portion of the app, you can actually set the timer and any of those eight different modes that you want to choose from. You can go ahead and select them here. Now, the mode that the cleaner is by default is going to clean the entire pool. So it's going to do the standard full pool clean is what I put it in there on, which does the floor, the walls and the water line. But you can concentrate on any one of those areas or a couple of those areas if you'd rather do that. You can also put the dirt hunting mode, which is really cool. It uses the camera to see the dirt and then it goes and gets it when it sees it. And on this screen, I'm just showing you that you can set the pattern for the floors. So you can use whatever pattern you want in whichever pattern you feel is best to clean your floors with. And you can of course set the pattern on the walls as well. And it looks like basically if you wanted to concentrate on the lower portion of the wall or the upper portion of the wall, you would use that H or that B pattern. If you want to do the wall pretty equally, you would use the N pattern. Now it's only been in there for a few minutes and I can already tell you it's getting to areas that no other pool cleaner has been including on top of the love seat and the wall around the top of the love seat. No other pool cleaner I've had has been able to navigate that. And this one has already been up there. Pretty impressive to see, but what's really impressive is the fact that its patterns are distinct. You can tell that the navigation is well thought out, well designed, and you can control it in the app. So I just have it doing the standard things right now but the app gives you so many more variations that you can go through and choose from. And look, I have to point out how easily this pool cleaner went over these raised drains because every other cordless robotic cleaner that I've had and even some corded models cannot get over these raised drains. I can't tell you how many cleaners get stuck on them. This one rolls over them like a boss and watch it navigate the outside of this curve and the inside corner. Every pool cleaner I've ever owned before 
falls off the outside of this curb and can't get around it. It never gets clean. I always have to brush it. Not with this one. This one actually navigated its way around it and into the deepest part of the corner, which is really nice because that, those are areas that stay dirty. Kind of neat to see because it's doing things that the other robotic pool cleaners I've had, the higher end ones, they just couldn't do. And it just goes over that drain like it's nothing. Like, like there's nothing even there which that drain is raised a good half inch. I'm just gonna go ahead and call it out. There was another brand, a big brand. I'm not gonna name the brand because that's just not professional, but uh, there was another big name brand that holds many awards, I'll just say that, that could not go over those drains. Like it would get stuck every 30 minutes. I'd have to come out here and push it off. And then I'd come back out, you know, 30 minutes later and it would be back on there. The Y-Bot, not a problem. This looks like it's actually thinking. And one of the most important things to note, I think, is that basically on one full charge, it was able to navigate the entire pool. It actually did the entire pool, walls, water line, floor, all, all on one charge. And that's amazing to me. Now, the only place in the pool that it didn't clean was the top stair here. And you're going to see it. Uh, why it doesn't clean it because that top stair is too close to the water surface so once the pool cleaner gets on top of it it actually realizes it's about to be out of water and it reverses itself off so that top stair is the only place in the pool that I'll end up having to brush and the reason for that is it's just protecting the cleaner because it knows it's out of the water and it doesn't want to be out of the water so it pushes itself back in and in my opinion, that's just another smart feature to love about this pool cleaner. To be honest, I felt like it was the best combination of brains and kind of power that I've seen in a pool cleaner to date. And I can't speak to longevity. Obviously, I haven't owned it that long, so it's really hard to tell you how long it's going to last or anything like that. That's just not something I can speak about after owning it for just a little while. But I can say, along with all those smart features, there are some really good signs of higher quality that I see and feel when I look at this pool cleaner. Just kind of your small little attention to detail things that you wouldn't think about, like this charging port, for instance. It has a screw-on cap with an O-ring. Most don't have that. Most just have a plug that kind of fits in, and you're really not sure whether you're keeping water out or not. And it's just obvious that water's not getting in this one. Even the hook is made of like a resin instead of like that cheap plastic that the other ones are made of. This thing is tough. It's not going to break easy. And I know those are two really small things that probably don't matter to a lot of people. But look, when I see really small things adding up to an overall sense of quality, I like to point it out because to me, that's attention to detail and it does matter. There's another filter you can put back there, but you don't want to do it unless you're doing the turbo floor mode. My pool wasn't really that dirty, so there's not a lot in there right now. Once you spray this thing out, it's uh, pretty super easy to put back together again. And the filter basket itself is also just another little attention to detail. Just super easy to pull out and clean. My final thoughts on this cleaner is it is the best in class. It's the best one I've tested so far. I just think it hits on every mark. It's the right combination of power and intelligence. Where it really stood out over all others was it just got to more areas of my pool. It really got to just about every square inch. The only place that it did not clean was that top stair that I showed you in the video, which is too close to the water surface, and it reversed off of that. Other than that, it got to everywhere in the pool. There was really no place in the pool that was left untouched and unclean. To me, this is the best pool cleaner that I've tried so far, and I've tried a lot of them.